We've been looking for a superbly insulated cool box and find them really difficult to get in the UK. They make them in Australia and uh, they make them in America. The best ones have up to uh, 100 millimeter thick, four inch thick walls. Um, however, to get one of those, which also cools, is extremely difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to try making a cool box using this um, expanded foam insulation. Here this is 50 millimeters thick, or two inches thick. So we'll be using uh, two layers of that to get the, the walls of the cool box. And we're going to be using this amazing device here, uh, a thermocooling device uh, called a Peltier. This is made with uh, hundreds of transistors between two metal plates. And when you apply 12, 12 volts across it, I think it draws about 3 amps. It, uh, one side goes very cold and the other side goes very warm. And if I show you, show you this one here, what you do is you put a heat sink on each side. There's the, there's the Peltier and there's a heat sink on this side, which will probably be the cool side. And here I put a heat sink on the other side, the hot side. That's got to be mounted in the wall of the cool box. But the first thing we're going to show you is how to construct the cool box itself. So now I'm going to show you how to cut the foam. To do this you need a two foot long or 600 millimeter steel rule, such as this, and you need a very sharp, thin knife. And I suggest that you specifically sharpen it just before you use it. So what you do is you take the foam sheets, and here's one in the size that's been bought. You lay the ruler across the middle, very carefully measure the sizes you need. And in this case, I'm cutting panels that are 600, uh, sorry, 450 millimeters high by 600 millimeters long. You lay the ruler there, and you just very carefully slice like this and then you pull the foam apart. As simple as that. Here's a shot of the, uh, the plan that I drew up to design the box. This box has an external length of 700 millimeters. It's going to be 550 millimeters high and 450 millimeters wide. Um, externally, inside it gives us a size of 500 by 250 by 350 millimetres, which uh, I calculate to give us a volume inside of 43.75 litres. So as I said, this box is constructed of two layers of foam, and this is a uh, foam that has a foil coating on each side. It's the sort of stuff used for roof insulation. And you can see here, laid out, all the pieces cut to size for the two layers. And uh, over there to the right, you've got the uh, you've got the lid, the two layers for the lid. And now I'm going to show you how to assemble it. Okay, so here we've got the base. What I'm going to do now is put the back on and a layer here, the sides like this. Another side there, and you can see this sort of stepped construction. So everywhere I've got a joint, okay, I, I've got no double gaps right the way through. Put another piece into there and there, okay. The ends are a little bit messy because we're using up some smaller pieces, but we're going to fix them together later on. So the ends are done like that, and in my design notice I've taken the end a little bit higher. And there we go. Okay, and the lid just simply drops on top. Okay, so here's the lid, and I'm just going to show you how the lid drops on. So the lid drops in there like that and that piece goes on the top. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to glue them together.